सो टुडे टॉपिक इज ए फार्मेकोलॉजी ऑफ ग्लूकोगॉन सो ऑलरेडी यू नो दिस ग्लूकोगॉन इट्स प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन द रेगुलेशन ऑफ द ब्लड शुगर लेवल सो वेन द ब्लड शुगर लेवल इज डिक्रीजेस सो ऑन दैट टाइम द पैनगेटिक ग्लैंड फ्रॉम द अल्फा सेल इट कैन रिलीजेस द ग्लूकोगॉन सो दिस ग्लूकोगॉन इज हेल्पफुल फॉर टू एलिवेट द ग्लूकोज लेवल इन द ब्लड ओके सो बाई एनहांसिंग द ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन इन टू ग्लूकोज आर इनिबिटिंग द फार्मेशन ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन सो इन द बोथ वे द ग्लूकोज लेवल इन द ब्लड इज इनक्रीजेस एंड सेकेंड फिनोमिना सो दिस ग्लूकोगॉन इट कैन एनहांस द ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस सो दैट इज द ब्रेक दैट इज फार्मेशन ऑफ ग्लूकोज फ्रॉम द नॉन कार्बोहाइड्रेड सोर्स सो लाइक दैट सो ग्लूकोगॉन is helpful for to elevate the blood sugar level so when the sugar level is decreases more than the normal that is just below the uh, 80 to 120 is the normal range if that below that glucose level so that condition is known as the hypoglycemia so due to hypoglycemic state in the body so when the brain or cerebral cortex get less glucose so then it automatically it can give signal to the pancreatic gland and in the pancreatic gland the alpha cells are the responsible cells so those are involved in the release of the glucagon so that release glucagon is helpful for to elevate the blood sugar level then the sugar level in the body or in the blood can be normalized so like that the glucagon is the one of the important hormones play important role in the regulations of the glucose level in our body so regarding the introduction so this glucagon is a pancreatic hormones it is mainly secreted from the pancreatic gland okay so it consists of 29 amino acids okay so the release of glucagon is similar to the insulin it means it is also uh, depending upon the glucose and that is the inactivation of the potassium channels so insulin is also religious by inactivation of the potassium channels so for example that is a when glucose is elevated so it can enter in the beta cells then the beta cells it can utilize the glucose and in the mitochondria then it can produces the more atp so that atp is can causes the blockage of the potassium channel and opening of the calcium channel so due to opening of calcium channel so more calcium can be accumulated so that accumulation of calcium causes one process so that process is known as the exocytosis so that exocytosis is helpful for the release of the insulin and same phenomena and same mechanism is also responsible for the release of the glucagon from the alpha cells here also during the hypoglycemia the glucose can enter in the alpha cells so then glucose was metabolized so then it can produces atp so due to productions of atp it can block the voltage dependent potassium channels so then calcium channels are open calcium are accumulated so due to accumulations of calcium the glucagon was released in the alpha cells and here difference is so these potassium channel in beta cells so they are highly voltage it means so they require the more atp so then only so that potassium channel can be blocked and more atp produces when our blood will be having the more glucose level but in hypoglycemia the glucose level is less okay in this condition also glucose can go to beta cells as well as the go into the alpha cells but in alpha cells so these potassium channels are low voltage they required less atp to inactivate so that's why so during hyperglycemia only the beta cells they can secrete the insulin so due to hypoglycemia or less sugar level so that sugar or glucose are fail to inhibit the atp dependent potassium channel in the beta cells because they are highly voltage potassium channel so those are present in the beta cells but in alpha cells so these potassium channels are low voltage so require the less atp 
सो हियर ड्यू टू हाइपोग्लाइसमिया ग्लूकोज एंटर इट प्रोड्यूसेस लो ए और लो वोल्टेज ए और लो एनर्जी सो दैट एनर्जी आर ए इट कैन ब्लॉक द पोटेशियम चैनल सो देन ओनली द ग्लूकोगन इज रिलीजियस ड्यूरिंग हाइपोग्लाइसमिया फ्रॉम द अल्फा सेल बट द मैकेजम वॉज सेम इन द बोथ बीटा सेल एज वेल एज द अल्फा सेल बट दैट इज ओनली the depending upon the potassium inactivation so due to potassium inactivation channel then only glucagon releases or insulin releases so this released glucagon it can mainly acts on the glucagon receptors so glucagon receptors are once again g protein coupled receptors so due to binding on glucagon receptors it can activate the two type of g proteins that is g s alpha g q actually in g protein coupled receptor there are three proteins so their activation so their inactivation then only so that drug can show the actions so it is come cover in the that is a g protein coupled receptor chapters okay so here so these uh, glucagon act on glucagon receptor it can act it only gs alpha and gq so due to activations of these two proteins by binding of glucagon on glucagon receptor it can activate the adenyl cyclase so adenyl cyclase is a enzyme it can responsible for conversions of amp into cyclic amp so like that adenyl cyclase it can enhance the formation of cyclic amp cyclic amp is a secondary messenger it is responsible for to increase the calcium so where where the cyclic amp concentration or its number is increases so wherever the calcium can be accumulated so due to accumulation of calcium one enzyme can activate that is known as the protein kinase a it is also written as the pka so activation of this enzyme so this enzyme can inactivate or phosphorylate the glycogen phosphorylase kinase so this enzyme is required for formations of glycogen from the glucose and here glucagon it can phosphorylate or inactivate the this enzyme thus it can inhibit the process of glycogen synthesis in the adipose tissues or specially in the liver so due to that the glucose is freely available in the blood so like that the glucagon it can treat the hypoglycemia by inhibiting the glycogen phosphorylase kinase or formation of the glucagon that is sorry glycogens okay so another mechanism so this same binding on receptor it can enhance the breakdown of glycogen into glucose so like that in these two phenomena they helpful for the treatment of the hypoglycemia in another way so this gq it can activate the another enzyme that is a phospholipase c it is also written as the plc plc means phospholipase c so this phospholipase c is responsible for the formations of the inositol 14 triphosphate from the inositol phosphate further this ip3 it is responsible for accumulation of the calcium okay this is also written as ip3 so this ip3 it can formed from the ip in the presence of the phospholipase c so the glucagon it can activate the gq protein by binding on the g protein coupled receptor and activate the phospholipase c so due to activation of phospholipase c more ip3 can be formed and ip3 like diacylglycerol and cyclic amp they always enhance the accumulation of the calcium in the tissue so due to accumulation of calcium further so this enzyme is activated that is the protein kinase a then it can phosphorylate the glycogen phosphorylase enzyme or kinase enzyme and enhance the breakdown of glycogen into glucose so like that the glucagon its play important role in the regulation of the blood sugar level by inhibiting the formation of glycogen or by enhancing the formation of the glucose from the glycogen so like that it can helpful for the treatment of the severe hypoglycemic conditions 
okay so next one regarding the pharmacological profiles so these alpha cells was activated due to hypoglycemia or entry of particular type of amino acids in alpha cells are due to release of the gip that is glucagon like peptides okay or also it is sometimes it is known as the uh, gastric inhibitory peptides so in the alpha cells so in the uh, glucagon can be religious so this release glucagon it's mainly acts on the brain okay so where it can inhibit the intake of the food and as well as it can decrease the appetite in another side by acting on the brain it can enhance the satiety satiety is nothing but we can feel the uh, that is the uh, fullness of the stomach so due to that we cannot feel the hungry so that condition was developed by the glucagon by acting on the brain in second pharmacological action it is also acts on the pancreatic gland then it can enhance the insulin secretion it means the glucagon is also responsible for it can give the signal to the beta cells so then only the beta cells can be releases the insulin so like that the insulin can be helpful for to elevated glucose level due to glucagons okay so then the glucagon is also acts on the liver so where it can enhance the production of the glucose by enhancing the glycogenolysis or by enhancing the breakdown of the glycogen into glucose and as well as it can decrease the glycogen breakdown or glucose breakdown so due to that the glucose will be remain in the blood so it can normalize the hypoglycemic conditions and as well as it can enhance the breakdown of the lipid in the liver so due to breakdown of lipid in the liver it can produce the more free fatty acids so these free fatty acids is required for the gluconeogenesis that is the formation of glucose from the non carbohydrate source that can require the lipoproteins or free fatty acids and here the glucagon on the liver it can enhance the breakdown of the lipid so due to that the more lipids are available for the formation of the glucose in another side it can inhibit the formation or production of the lipid by utilization of the free fatty acids liver it can utilize the free fatty acids are adipose tissues they can utilize the free fatty acids involved in the synthesis of the triglycerides and cholesterol so that process is also inhibited by the glucagon by acting on the liver so due to that it can enhance the ability of the free fatty acids for a gluconeogenesis or formation of glucose from the non carbohydrate source so as well as the glucagon it can enhance the ketone body productions so due to that only during the hypoglycemia the ketone bodies are produced in the body so ketone bodies are the high energetic substance so when the cells they do not got the energy from the glucose so on that time they can got the energy from the bioenergetic molecules like a creatinine and ketones so here the glucagon they can acts on the liver so they can enhance the ketone body production it means the air secretions of glucagon the person can be suffering from the ketoacidosis or the failure of the kidney on another side it can also enhance the production of the amino acids by enhancing the breakdown so these amino acids once again is required for the formation of the glucose so glucagon is also acts on the adipose tissues so where it can increases the expenditures of stored energy so what is the energy they are stored in the adipose tissues in the form of the cholesterol in the form of the glycogen in the form of the triglycerides so their breakdown can be increases by acting on the adipose tissues by a glucagons and lastly the glucagon it can acts on the heart so where it can enhance the that is the heart rate and as well as the contractility it means the glucagon it can increase the heart rate as well as the force of the contractions in the normal concentration but in the high doses the glucagon can decrease the 
blood pressure by causing the vaso dilatation so like that the glucagon acts on the brain it can inhibit the food intake acts on the pancreas it can enhance the secretions of insulin acts on the liver it can enhance the all sources of formations of the glucose and in acts on the adipose tissues they can decrease the glucose storage in the form of the glycogen as well as they can enhance the source of the glucose from for the non carbohydrate sources by enhancing the breakdown of triglycerides and cholesterol and as well as it can acts on the heart increase the heart rate and contractility so like that the glucagon is helpful for the regulations of the blood glucose level so the glucagon it can externally it can administered by the intramuscular route so within the t maximum x it can obtained within the 13 minutes okay so the glucagon it's mainly metabolized in the liver kidney and as well as the plasma it's mainly excreted through the kidney as well as liver and tf of the glucagon is only 3 to 10 minutes within 10 minutes its action was decreases up to the 50 percent okay so glucagon it is available in the form of the powders in the injection that is containing 1 mg to 10 mg vial okay so regarding the adr the glucagon can produces the nausea vomiting inhibitions of the git tract motility increase the blood pressure and heart rate and decreased serum potassium so the blood pressure increases and heart rate increase only in the normal dose but in the higher doses it can reverse the blood pressure by causing the vasodilatations okay regarding interaction the glucagon have the interactions with the anticoagulants so where when you are using glucagon along with the anticoagulants means the anticoagulant effect of anticoagulant drug can be increased so that's why the glucagon can be avoided along with the warfarin heparin comorin derivatives as well as the aspirin because these all are used as the anticoagulants so they are helpful for treatment of the atherosclerosis or remove the clotting in the heart or blood vessels of the heart and as well as the normal blood vessels so where if you are using the anticoagulants means on that time you can avoid the glucagons otherwise the anticoagulant property is increased so due to that the internal bleeding can be started due to lack of the coagulations by enhancing activity of the anticoagulants so glucagon is also having the interactions with the epinephrines so where it can increase the hyperglycemic effect of the epinephrines then as well as it is having the interactions with the phenytoins so where it can appear to inhibit the glucagon induced insulin release it means if you are using phenytoin along with the glucagon means the insulin release from the that is the pancreatic gland by a glucagon so that effect can be abolished so that's why the glucagon can be avoided along with phenytoin epinephrine and as well as the anticoagulants so the main uses of glucagon is a it is helpful for to treat the hypoglycemia or severe hypoglycemia when our body do not produces the glucagons or the candidate ward suffering from the severe hypoglycemia due to any changes or stress or any other problem so on that time you can use the glucagon for to elevate the decreased blood sugar level so like that the glucagon is helpful for the regulations of the blood sugar level or to control or to treat the hypoglycemia okay okay so today we can cover regarding the pharmacology of Google.